was it that brought you to make the decision that you wanted to go dive into this world, uh, into the lives of these people who are creating this billion dollar machine that is, its purpose is to just smash atom, atomic particles into each other. And what, what, how did this journey start for you to create this thing? Well, I mean, the journey actually started uh, in college when I got interested in physics. And so um, my, I, I, I originally was going to college. Uh, I thought I was going to be an MD. And so I actually had, was in a program. It was a special program that was a combined MD PhD program. And I thought I'd get an MD and I thought I'd study. Um, uh, and then I would you know, do research and I'd sort of do a combination. Um, but I, it was sort of the quintessential story of an incredible professor um, at, at, at college uh, who um, was this brilliant physics teacher. And I decided to take the physics majors physics course um, because uh, also I just sort of wanted to be away from the uh, pre-med uh, rush where most of the pre-med people are just taking physics because they have a requirement. And I was interested in it. Um, so I thought, okay, I'll take the, uh, you know, the, the, the physics majors one. I was, you know, I was good in math and science. And, you know, the guy walked in the first day and he picks up this huge book and he says, this is the book, but he tosses it across the room. He says, but we're not going to care about books. We're interested in learning how things work and learning how the universe works. And I thought, wow, sign me up. Um, you know, especially in con contrast to a lot of the pre-med stuff where it was really about memorization and learning things like that. And, and, you know, I think it was, I was just really fascinated by, the search for fundamental truth and understanding. I mean, that's what I was interested in physics. And I was, I really got drawn to the most theoretical physics and the most fundamental physics. And so particle physics is in a sense, it's the ultimate physics. I mean, everything ultimately comes down to what are the fundamental particles of the universe and uh, what are the forces and how do they interact? And, and essentially everything comes from that. And that was very appealing to me. I mean, to just to try to understand, just if you want to understand the universe, that's the most fundamental level that you can understand it. And so that took me through college and through graduate school. Um, uh, so it was, you know, I was studying this field, but um, in at, at the university, um, I did begin to see other, uh, you know, the, the other things. I was sort of awakened to film and to literature, and and I think it was um, particularly uh, actually a lot of Eastern European cinema that I saw that was very complex, uh, intellectually challenging, and uh, trying to understand the universe um, also, but you know, from the more humanistic perspective. And so that's the other thing is I, I, I saw, I suddenly, I saw film as another way of trying to understand the universe. And, you know, physics, you were looking at it from the, you know, aspects of, of the physical uh, components like particles and forces. Um, but film I saw as a way to also examine um, you know, how the universe works from a human perspective. And there's, there's a number of parallels, I think, um, but between the two that um, for me, a, a script in some sense is like a theory. Uh, I, I film for me, you know, is something that is a representative of something of the world, some truth that is in a compressed form. I mean, uh, at least for me, the, 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 you know, the greatest films are, uh, they're saying something, um, they, they contain some sort of truth in a compressed form, which is like a theory in physics, actually, that, uh, you know, you look for a theory that, that is a simplification of things, but is also representative of much broader things. And, um, you know, you look for, you look for, again, a sort of a simplification, an essence of things that has a broader significance. And even, in, in process in a certain way. Um, in science, you look at, uh, you have a theory of something about how the universe works. And in film, you know, you start out uh, with a script, uh, some idea of something that you're, you're trying to investigate. And then in, uh, in physics, you go off and you do an experiment to test it. And um, 
uh, you are, you know, suddenly the experiments are, are often really huge and expensive and uh, you hope you get something useful. Um, and in film, you go off and you, you make the film. And again, it's suddenly very different from the more solitary process of, of writing or coming up with a theory. Um, but you, 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 you go out, you have a crew, you, you know, do this uh, incredible, uh, crazy thing, and you hope you get something useful. You, so you, you hope you get some useful data. And then um, in, in physics, you go back with the results to your theory and you say, oh, okay, what is the, what it really is? What is the real world like? And in film, you know, you get the, the footage back into the edit room and you sort of say, oh, that's what my film is about. You know, it may be very different. So there's a certain parallels in that re regard, actually, too, in terms of the steps. So when I finished, when I got my PhD, I, I really did get interested in exploring this other way of looking at the world from the humanistic perspective. And I actually went into um, narrative film. I mean, you know, what I described is really the, the path for a narrative feature where you have a script and then you shoot and you go to the edit room. And um, I actually had nothing to do with science. I mean, so my foray into film for many years was in the narrative world. Um, I wrote a script about um, former Russian dissident artists dealing with all the changes after Glasnost. Again, it was, I was so fascinated by art and artists and you know, what they were doing. And so I worked in that field. I uh, uh, wanted to do more writing and directing. I, I began to specialize in um, post-production, working with actors to redo lines and to change lines and, uh, you know, something that's called ADR, right? Um, right looping. Um, and, and then alternately working on my own things. But I, I was always thinking that I wanted to do something that, you know, try to perhaps connected the strands of my life. And I was thinking about a script, uh, possibly writing a script that, you know, looked at sort of science in a very realistic way. I mean, I, I didn't feel and still don't feel that there's a lot of fiction films that deal with science, uh, you know, in a very authentic way. And so I was thinking about that. And then I, I um, heard about this physicist, uh, David Kaplan, who wanted to make a, he was trying to make a documentary about um, the startup of the Large Hadron Collider. And the Large Hadron Collider was the experiment that was designed to test the fundamental theories of particle physics, which is exactly what I had been studying in graduate school. So it was something where I could recognize very much the, uh, the issues, the stakes, um, and I knew um, what was involved, what, had, you know, what people were looking for and how long they'd been looking for it. And so I could sense that if this thing was really finally about to turn on, um, it could be a dramatic film. And so I, I told David that you know, I was not interested in doing a uh, straightforward science documentary where we're just gonna try to explain particle physics, but that if I could use my filmmaking tools uh, to make it about characters and make it, you know, try to make it a, a follow a narrative, that would be really interesting and I could see the potential. And he agreed and so I jumped in. And um, so, you know, it, it, it just it presented this opportunity to sort of combine in my mind these two strands of my life, two strings in some sense of physics and film and narrative and story. and. Um, uh, that's how it came about. And of course it ended up being much more dramatic than we expected. I mean, when I started, most of the physicists said they probably wouldn't find the Higgs boson um, while we were filming. Um, and uh, I, you know, was trying to think of various dramatic scenarios, uh, you know, thinking in terms of story, what it could be. I had all various ideas of, you know, how I could set it up. Um, and you know what we might do in terms of you know different 
uh, you know, different teams competing or the difference between theorists and experimentalists, which was something that was very interesting to me and something I think is, was not so well known outside of the field, outside of what happens in a lot of science, but it's really aggravated, uh, accentuated in physics because the experiments like the Large Hydron Collider are so enormous and, you know, so time consuming. And, uh, um, you know, so I was thinking about those dis distinctions and, um, you know, we were very lucky that um, they did end up discovering it while we were still filming. So. Mm -hmm.